A lot of news to get into, including a very wacky UFC show. There was <laughs> everything on the show. There was a John Jones fight. There was a fight that seemed like it was over, but it wasn't. And then it was over, but then it probably shouldn't have been over. There was... What else do we have? A championship change where the champion just looked like a dude because the challenger destroyed him. This was quite the show. What'd you think? Yeah, I thought it was an enter entertaining show. The main event was kind of... It was boring. It's yeah. Not I, I thought it was... I, I thought it was... Uh, it was just... The last two fights were really one-sided. Um, the main event was expected to be one-sided. It was. The problem was it went five rounds. It was like John Jones never really... I don't think John Jones ever made an, a real attempt to finish him. He just seemed like he was just happy being safe. And they went five rounds of it. It was a really one-sided fight. He committed a, a number of fouls. Actually, that was kind of an interesting thing. Like, he, he nearly... If it was... He, you know, if it, if it was somebody else, he probably would have been DQ'd on for that. For for um, I mean, it was it was he actually hit two illegal uh, blows. I think it was a kick and a knee. One of which wasn't called. One of which he was docked two points on, and then a th there's a third one that he threw, but he missed. So it was like crazy. It's like the guy. I mean, he was cruising to an easy win, and he was like doing everything in his power to get disqualified. To, to you know what I mean? But he just he couldn't, and I mean, he nearly did, in the, in the sense that if um, if if uh, Smith had um, you know not gotten up, but it wasn't that bad of a blow that he couldn't get up. But you know, people have milked worse. Um, you know, in theory, he should have then lost by disqualification if Smith couldn't continue. But the reality is that uh, there's no way they would have done that. I mean, I heard on the commentary, and they're going like, oh, you know, if he'd done that, they'd have gotten a disqualification. And it's like, yeah, by the rules, they would have. But they'd have called it a, they'd have called it a no contest. I mean, it's like, it's, you know, they're not going to. As as I mean, I, I wrote that on Twitter and people freaked out. But it's like that's the, the, the there's a there's the rules and then there's the reality. And if you haven't learned by now that the rules don't apply to John Jones, then you're not paying any attention. They were not about to take his championship for that foul, you know. But it, it was it was a blatant foul, you know. It's like you can't really, you know, kick a guy aiming for the head. You know what I mean? It's like if the guy. If you aim for the body and the head gets in the way because the guy moves, it's one thing. But when the guy's laying there not moving and you kick him, you know, or knee, actually it was, it was a knee, a knee right to the side of the head, you know, which at one point, you know, they, the announcers even said it was to the neck and it was right to the side of the head. It was not to the neck, you know, but in either way, I'm not sure that. So, so anyway, there was that, but John Jones, like won easily, um, Kamaru Usman beat Tyron Woodley like, I don't know what happened. Tyron Woodley just, he just had a bad day or something. He just, I don't know what happened to him. He just wasn't there. And he got destroyed. Um, you know, I mean, I was kind of thought that the judging was pretty bad on that one, but it doesn't really matter because it's like, you know, he won every round. But I mean, there was a judge who ruled it 50-45, and I, 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 I had it 50-42, which none of the three judges had anything close to that. So I thought, well... I don't think I'm wrong on this one because these were pretty blatant 10 eights. So I looked at the media scores and it's pretty much like my score was identical to the majority. There were some 50 43s. There was like one 50 44. There were no 50 45s. Most were 50 42s. And there was, there was, there were some 50 41s and there was even a 50 39, which is actually insane. I mean, 50, I think you could, I think 50, 50, 50 41 would be a, a tough one 50 42 or 50 43 i would accept 50 40 there was there was you know but it doesn't matter i mean usman won the fight so um it doesn't really matter what the scores were so so that fight was interesting to watch i thought the refereeing in that fight sucked too mark goddard there were at least three occasions in that fight where it was two clinches and once when um when usman was on on top and it's like you're in a clinch and you're throwing knees and, you know, lots of knees to the body. You're not like stalling. It was not a stall in the clinch. And he broke it up. And it's like, what are you breaking up when there's action? And once on the ground, it's like if these guys are on the ground and there's no action. Yeah, stand them up. I get that. But Usman's beating them up on the ground. And he just stands them up. It was like I didn't, you know, it got, Mark God has been around forever. And it was like, 
what is he doing? Like the first time, it's like, what is he doing? And then he kept doing it. So it was like between the refereeing, um, the judging, it was not a good night for, um, for officials in Nevada. That's for sure.